today's video is being sponsored by Clinique. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you're an OD but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back for another video. All right guys, so today I have for you a one brand makeup tutorial, which if you've been following my channel for quite some time, then you know I have never, 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 ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, what, get on my level. Anyways, y'all know I have never did anything like this on my channel because I just like to use a variety of different products so I don't normally just stick to one specific brand but I thought doing this would let you know how strong the brand is as a whole so I definitely think I'm going to start doing more of these videos just so you guys can get a better idea of what different products a specific brand does have to offer so today I'm going to be doing Clinique and overall I've tried a lot of different products from Clinique but there are some products that I've never never even thought about trying. So today I got to try out a whole lot of different Clinique stuff and I'm super duper excited to be doing this video. I have partnered with them to tell you more about a new product that they just recently launched, which is this bad boy right here. So I've been using it for about 10 days now and this is the Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. So yeah, if you guys wanna know a little bit more about this product, I will talk about it throughout the tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing how to get a full face of Clinique products, then of course, all you have to do is keep watching. All right guys, so I already did my brows and I used the Clinique Super Fine Liner for brows. And I really love this pencil because it makes my brows look really nice and soft. It gives them a more natural look so they don't look as harsh. And um, this is really, really easy to use. I love how thin it is. I use the shade 03 Deep Brown. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hydrate and prep my skin for foundation and I like to do this first just to make sure that my skin has time to absorb the product. So I've partnered with Clinique to let you guys know a little bit more about their Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. And this is actually a new product and I've been using it for probably about 10 days now and I've really been enjoying it. So I feel that this is going to be a product that I really enjoy once the months get a little bit cooler because it really gives my skin that extra hydration that it needs. And I noticed in the cooler months that my skin does get drier although I do have oily skin my skin still needs some type of hydration so I just use a little bit of this product I don't have to use much at all and just make sure that I rub it in really really good so this product gives you 24 hours of lightweight hydration and it is oil free. Um, it doesn't leave a residue, which is what I really like about it. And it strengthens your skin's moisture barrier and makes it less vulnerable to pollution. The product actually absorbs into the skin pretty quickly and you can wear it alone or you can wear it up under your makeup. So for the past few days that I've been using it, I've just been incorporating it into my everyday skincare routine. So whether I wear makeup or not, I've been using this product. And I do think it's going to be really great for the cooler months because like I said earlier, our skin tends to need a little bit more moisture and hydration during those cooler months. So if you guys are interested in checking out this product, you can go to a Clinique counter and get a sample. That way you can try it out before you buy it. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. So whenever I was buying the different products for this video, I actually went to a Sephora and they didn't have a huge variety of Clinique products. So I wasn't able to find an actual eyeshadow primer. I'm not sure if Clinique has one or not, but I already had this concealer and I use it a lot of the times for like an eyeshadow base before I put on my eyeshadows. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do today. And this is the Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer and it's really great. It's just going to give your eyelids a really nice clean canvas. For the eyeshadows, I wanted to get something that would be nice for the everyday woman, something that you could wear to work or run an errand, school, anything like that. So this is the palette I decided to go with. It's neutral, but it does have some jewel tones and this is called Neutral Territory 2. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. So it is more of a sheen, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this in the crease. Just sweeping it back and forth.
And this is a really nice shade in the crease. It's kind of a neutral shade, but um, it does have that sheen to it. I think it looks really nice in the crease. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade and I'm just going to sweep this kind of on top of the crease, I guess you could say, just to add a little bit more depth to the crease area. And I'm really focusing it on the inner portion of the eye. So now I'm going in with a flat shader brush and the same concealer and I'm pretty much going to cut the crease. And this is something that I hardly ever do, but it's really going to help the eyeshadow that I applied to the lid stand out a little bit more. And on my lids, I'm gonna use this Petal Pop eyeshadow. It's kind of like an iridescent shade. It has a little flower on it. Super duper cute. And I'm just going to apply this color on my lid. I feel like I might need to dampen my brush just a little bit, just to help that eyeshadow pop a little bit more. Now I'm gonna use this silver kind of purple shade and I'm going to apply it right beside the other color that I applied to the lid area. kind of overlapping the two so that they blend together really nice. And for the um, outer portion of my lid, I'm going to use this dark purple shade. As you guys can tell, it is pretty dark. I'm gonna go over that with a fluffy brush just to kind of help blend it a little bit better. So y'all already know I'm gonna apply some fake eyelashes just to kind of ba ba boom the look a little bit more. So I always like to apply mascara before I apply my fake eyelashes just so that everything blends together really nice. So um, yeah, this is the high impact mascara. I really love the one on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these lashes on. And these are by the brand Cake Face. I like these a lot because, I don't know. <laughs> I just like the way they look. I feel like they give you a nice dose of drama, but they're not too, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, in your face. So after I do my eyes, I always like to move on to my face. And you guys know I have large pores, so I always try to use some type of primer that is going to make them look as large and in charge. So the product that I've really been loving is this Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. And this is a really great primer, so it's going to help your foundation stay on longer, but it's also going to help with the appearance of your pores as well. And for my foundation, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Now this is Bay. I have used this for a while now, probably on and off for like two years. It's a really, really great foundation. It's going to give you really great coverage. I really love the applicator because you can just swatch it all over your face and then go back and just blend everything in. And y'all, this foundation is going to give you such good coverage but it doesn't have that heavy feeling. And to highlight, I'm using the same concealer that I use for my eyes, the Beyond Perfecting Concealer. I'm just going to highlight everything and you know, just give me that nice highlighted look. And after I apply my concealer, I always like to go over everything just to make sure there's no 
lines of demarcation and all of that stuff. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. <laughs> Y'all already know we got to take it up a level and get everything snatched. So I was really excited whenever I seen that Clinique had these contouring sticks. So contouring sticks are super duper easy. Literally, you just draw on your face and blend. So easy. Also going to take it down the side of my nose. And I'm just blending everything. And as you guys can tell, that blended so flipping easy. That's crazy. It was not hard to blend out whatsoever. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze the face up a little bit and I'm using this illuminating bronzer. So it does have a few shimmers, which normally kind of pulls me away from a bronzer, but I don't feel like you can really see it on the skin. I can see it just a little bit, but not a ton. So I definitely think I could get G with this. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter because I just want, you know, just to glow a little bit. So I like this highlighter because it doesn't really have a lot of sparkle in it. It's actually more of a sheen. And I feel like I've just been leaning towards more of a sheen highlighter here lately, opposed to something that's really sparkly. I feel like the sheen looks a little bit more natural so this is going to be nice for an everyday look i'm gonna add a little bit of blush to my cheeks just for a nice flush of color so i'm using this blush it's called zero five nude pop and this blush it has a really soft feel it almost feels like it's cream to powder or something so I really like that and I feel like this color is just the perfect amount of color not too much but enough to you know just add some color back to the face and I'm applying some liner to my waterline and I thought I picked up black but it actually looks like it's navy blue which I feel like Kind of goes well with the purple that I applied. I'm gonna add just a little bit of color underneath the lash line. Not anything too drastic, just a little bit. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. So for the lips, I decided to get a hot pink color. So I'm not really sure how it's going to look with this eye look, but you know what? We're just gonna go forward. So this shade is called Rose Pop. guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know what my next one brand makeup tutorial should be on i was thinking maybe like wet and wow or nars or mac i really want to do mac because i feel like mac is like an og and i know it could be done so easily but i feel like i haven't featured mac as much as i used to back in the day so i think i Mac. So you guys let me know below what you think I should do my next one brand makeup tutorial on. Again, thank you Clinique for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in checking out the Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly, there will be a link below to do so. Um, again, thank you guys for watching this video and as always, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!